Chapter 15 The Adjective Which words come to your mind when you see a peacock in all its colourful glory? Let us write some of these words. Colourful, beautiful, majestic, graceful, large, national, etc. Using these words in sentences, The peacock is a colourful bird. The peacock is a beautiful bird. The peacock is a majestic bird. The peacock is a graceful bird. The peacock is a large bird. The peacock is the national bird of India. All colourful words in these sentences describe the noun bird. These words are adjectives. They describe a noun. Now consider these sentences. Medicine is a noble profession. Catering is a profitable business. Paragliding is a thrilling sport. Tribals live in remote areas. The leopard is a ferocious carnivore. Here, noble, profitable, thrilling, remote and ferocious are adjectives which describe the nouns profession, business, sport, areas, carnivore, respectively. An adjective is a word that adds something to the meaning of a noun. An adjective is usually followed by the noun it describes. Adjectives may be divided into the following classes on the basis of what they describe about the noun. Kinds of adjectives Adjectives of quality Consider the following sentences. He is a renowned author. They are skilled artisans. Bhutan is a mountainous country. India is a populous nation. In these sentences, renowned, skilled, mountainous and populous are adjectives of quality. They describe qualities of persons or things. Adjectives of quality answer the question, of what kind? Definition Adjectives tell us of what kind a person or thing is are called adjectives of quality. Adjectives of quantity Consider the following sentences. The witness was not telling the whole truth. We need sufficient time to deal with the problem. She felt little relief from the medicine. I have much faith in our judicial system. In these sentences, whole, sufficient, little and much are adjectives of quantity. They tell us how much of a thing is meant. Adjectives of quantity answer the question, how much? Definition Adjectives which tell us how much of a thing is meant are called adjectives of quantity. Adjectives of number Consider the following sentences. Most people believe in honest labour. There are no shortcuts to success. India has three levels of governance. In these sentences, most, no and three are adjectives of number. They tell us how many persons or things are meant. They are always used with countable nouns. Adjectives of number answer the question, how many? Definition An adjective that tells us how many persons or things are meant is called the adjective of number. Distributive adjectives Consider the following sentences. Each question carries four marks. Every citizen should strive for the country's progress. Either contestant can answer this question. Neither proposal is acceptable. In these sentences, each, every, either and neither are distributive adjectives. They refer to each one of a category. Definition An adjective that refers to each individual of a category, not to the category collectively, is called distributive adjective. Demonstrative adjectives Consider the following sentences. This plant is rare. These pancakes are hot. 
That dog is a bloodhound. These goats are reared for their hair. In these sentences, this, these, that and those are demonstrative adjectives. They point out which person or thing is meant. Demonstrative adjectives answer the question, which. This and that are used with singular nouns and these and those are used with plural nouns. Definition Adjectives which point out which person or thing is meant are called demonstrative adjectives. Possessive adjectives Consider the following sentences. This is my cousin. These are our notebooks. May I borrow your pen for a while? Sumit has filled up his application form. Madhu helps her mother in household work. The dog has hurt its leg. Their behavior was very rude towards us. In these sentences, my, our, your, his, her, its and their are possessive adjectives. They are used to show that someone owns or possesses a thing. They are always used with nouns. Definition An adjective which tells us about a thing owned by someone is called possessive adjective. Forms of the possessive adjectives The following are the different forms of the possessive adjectives. Person First person Singular My Plural Are Second person, your, your. Third person, his, masculine, her, feminine, its, neuter, their, all genders. Interrogative adjectives. Consider the following sentences. Which scarf do you want to buy? What manner of man is he? Whose bicycle is this? In these sentences, which, what and whose are interrogative adjectives. They are used with nouns to ask questions. Definition Adjectives which, what and whose when used with nouns to ask questions are called interrogative adjectives. Position of adjectives Adjectives are used in the following two ways. Attributive use of adjectives an adjective is generally placed immediately before the noun. This is called attributive use of adjectives as The viper is a venomous adjective, snake, noun. Predicative use of adjectives When an adjective is placed after a verb, it is called predicative use of adjectives as The man is verb, very, tired, adjective. The correct use of some adjectives Some, any Some and any can be used as adjectives of number or adjectives of quantity according to the context. Some is used generally in affirmative sentences as She bought some fruit and vegetables. Any is used generally in negative or interrogative sentences as I do not have any choice negative sentence have you purchased any sweets for the children interrogative sentence each every each and every express almost similar meaning each is used to refer to every one of two or more people or things regarded and identified separately it is used when the number in the group is limited and definitive as each player in the team contributed to the victory. Every is used before a singular noun to refer to all the individual members of a set without exception as Every person in the audience was spellbound.